Hello YouTube, today I'm making a video to show you this new browser called Rockmelt. Right now it's in a beta, so you can go sign up for the beta over at rockmelt.com and in a few days they'll email you a download link and you can try it out. I've been using it for a few days now and so far I think it's pretty cool. Basically what it is, it's, is it's a Chrome based browser with integrated social networking. Over here you've got all your Facebook friends that are online and over here you've got feeds for your favorite sites. So you can see you have the Twitter and you can look at all the Twitter tweets there. Or you've got your Facebook profile which is basically notifications. And you've got the then you've got your Facebook news feed and then you can add all of these. So you can like go to here and it'll take your recently visited sites and add them. So you can also like say from recent site you can do uploads by a bunch of different people on YouTube or Wikipedia, recent changes. So that's pretty useful. And then you can just close out of it, looking back there. And then also you can add add ons, and they'll appear over here. So like here's I've got ad block, downloads, translator, and Wolfram Alpha. But then over here, like I said, you've got your Facebook friends. So here's Adrian. Let's see if he's online. And I guess he's not there right now, but basically what it does is if someone chats you, it plays a little iChat sound and their chat window will pop up right here where you, where you saw it before, with the difference that if they chat you, it'll pop up detached, like so. So, I think it's pretty cool. I've been using it a while and it's just easy to like be browsing on YouTube or something and then you've also got your Facebook chat open right here rather than in a different window. And all of these are very useful as well. One thing I did notice, however, is that it is very intensive on memory. It opens, it has to have a bunch of different little helper programs open. I'll show you in Activity Monitor, actually. You can see if we sort it by process name, we've got like Rock Mount Worker, a bunch of these all over the place. So it's, and they're each using up a decent amount of memory. So that can get kind of annoying if you're using it with like flash and stuff for a long time but I think it's very useful and I do recommend you go enter the beta when you start off you'll get three when you start off you'll get three invites and for every person that accepts the invite you'll get two more so you get more invites the more people that accept your invites but yeah just head on over to rockmelt.com there will be a link in the description that's all for now thanks for watching and please subscribe